Hello and welcome to another Nick Comedia tutorial. So today we're doing another part of my last animation because of a uh, patron who asked me to show now this to do uh, show now this movement of the train and, and uh, not the movement of the train. This is quite easy, but how it like, you can do this that the uh, rails here rise up when the train comes closer. So, and today I show you how to do this. And the next question, I will uh, tackle this in the next video, uh, is how to uh, how to animate the ferris wheel so that the gondolas always point in the minus y direction here and how to texture this here. Okay. Good, this is then in the next video. Maybe I'll record it today too, so we'll see. But now we will do the train animation here. Uh, patrons can download here the whole file on Patreon with all the models in it. And uh, so you can easier follow me in my tutorial because I have all my models now in here. And of course I'm tracking the train and have my train here, yay. I don't need to see. Sub D here, and I don't need to see the lines at the moment. So N A to hide the mesh. Good. What we need now is uh, a path for the train. So I make a helix. Let's go to the top view. I don't want to see here the work plane. And I go to a height of 1000, <coughs> sorry, and let's say here 3030. 30. And I don't need as many subdivisions, it's more than enough. Even less would do, but we don't have so much. So, okay, but we need to flatten out our path here, of course. So I make the, go to the helix and make a current state to object. You can right click on it, current state to object, or I have it here, so. And the original one I will put in a backup folder here. Make a backup folder. Now I go to my helix and make the size 1000 here and the y zero because we want it flat. And here and let's go to 60. Okay, now I have a nice flat path here. Okay. So the next step is. We want to align the train to the path, of course. So I go to my train here, animation text, align to spline, and bring in this spline. And now, yeah, but we see that it's not really what we want. So we need it tangential, and this is the wrong axis, the x axis, and now that looks great. And of course, we want that the wheels are rotating while the uh, train follows the path. So, honestly, in the, my original file, I did it very easy. I just eyeballed it. I tried uh, how many rotations this could be. So I uh, let uh, rotate the cylinder here. So this is the back wheel here and the front wheel. You see, I I put a constraint tag here on the on the front wheel. And this constraint per PSR, and in the PSR I just have the rotation, and the target is this cylinder here. So everything this cylinder does uh, with the rotation, this cylinder does too. So uh, I don't. So I have to animate just this one cylinder here. And we did this a uh, lot of times, many times now uh, in the tutorials. So if you don't know how to use the constraint tag, please uh, watch the other tutorials. And uh, especially the last ones, where we, we, we did something with rolling and everything. Okay, so if you want to know exactly, uh, or if you want to do it exactly, that the uh, uh, rotation fit exactly to the spline. So, so you need to have to know the length of the spline and the circumference of the uh, of the cylinder here, and then of course the length of the spline divided by the circumference of the cylinder is then uh, uh, how, how many rotations, the 360 rotations you have. 
And if you want to know how this works exactly, uh, I have a tutorial for this, and this is here, uh, the Steampunk Puppy. If you uh, just go to my channel and search here for Puppy, and in the third part here, where you see the, the, and, uh, the, the expressor things, in the third part, I explain exactly how you can make it with a spline, how, so how you can calculate the spline and the rotations on the spline and everything. So here I explain everything exactly. But here it's it's just a toy thing, and so I thought it's not it had not to be so exactly. So what I did was here on frame zero and the coordinates we need the B. Yes, we need the B. On frame zero, I got make a keyframe on frame hundred, the last one, I make a keyframe ten to ten rotations, so three thousand six hundred. Okay, and then I just okay. We have to animate, of course, our line to spline take as well. So, uh, I will do something here. I don't want. I have to go uh, always to the first, and the last frame here. A lot of times to the keyframe. And normally it works when you hit Shift G. So it should be the uh, is the last one and Shift F is the first one but this does not uh, work every time so so sometimes it does not work so what i want to do is i make just this go to the first frame and last frame i want to make these two buttons up here for just this tutorial and this is a quite easy thing so we need the go to end and go to start so shift f12 is customize command so then i can go to and you see it here, Shift G, this is this one, what I want. Uh, first, I need to make a new palette. Make so go to end, drag this in. And I want to go to start as well. So go to start, Shift F, this is this one here. That's all what we need. So and I drag this palette to, let's see here. So now, I have I can do this. I can go to the last frame and the first frame, and don't have to go always down here. So on the first frame, position one, and the last frame, position hundreds. So now I can go down here, and now I can drag along, and you see the rotation. It looks it looks okay. It's ten times. Maybe it's better to see when we, we don't render anything in this tutorial, so we can go here in the keyframe. No, the, the, uh, this is done in, in Octane, but we can make a, a simple Cinema 4D thing here and make simply an, an uh, Surface checkerboard, okay, one by one, good, and drag it over the original material of my wheel here. So I go to here, and you see it with the plus and then the uh, arrow pointing downwards, when, so I'm exactly over the material and I put it in, and you see it exchanges the material here. So. And here we this we see a little better, and it looks quite nice. So, so it looks almost original. So this could be this is believable, let's say. So let's okay. The next step we need rails, rail parts. So I make one part of a rail. I don't make it the, the rail. The original one I made uh, with, with the volume builder. So I made simply a cube, then made two. Uh, let's go to here. Let's do, have a look at this. I made it a straight cube, made two sweeps, or uh, no, no, not sweeps. In this case, I made just two uh, cylinders and pulled them out in the volume builder pulled out this one, this uh, parts here for and, and everything. Uh, nope, 
no, no, the, the, these parts I made with this a spline mask. I made the, the, the shape of this. In the original one, uh, in the original uh, project file, you will see it. I have it under the backup, you see everything. Uh, I made the shape of this with um, spline mask. Then I extruded it and brought it in the volume builder. And in the volume builder, I pulled out uh, this two rail here and that's it and the rest I did uh, like now so make a cube so something like that Let's see how big is it uh, let's make this size 10 and here 60 Okay, and I need a cloner now. I go to my cube, I click on cloner so the cloner becomes parent. And I need here a linear thing. We have 200 height of the cube, so let's go to here. And the x axis with the 200 and the minus 0, so that's nice. And let's make some more. One, two, three. So, okay. And now I want to uh, align the clones exactly to the helix here. So I, I, for this I want to use a spline wrap. And I cannot put it here under the cloner somewhere. So I have to bring the cloner in a null with Alt-G. And under the null now I bring in a spline wrapper. With shift click, uh, with null selected shift click makes it a child of the null. And the spline wrapper gets this spline here. You see, okay. We have a small problem. The problem is here we have two less segments here. When I go back to the lines, you see we have not enough segments. And the x axis just up the segments and get a nice thing here. What we need. Okay. The next step is. And the next step is this, 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 this has to go a little down. So, uh, yeah, let's make another spline, helix spine. So, this is this first is the helix spine for the train. This is for the rails now. So, I go to the cloner again, bring the uh, no, for the spine wrap and bring the helix one in here. Uh, but no, I think it's no, it's not necessary with this. One. Let's see if we can put the cloner, just the cloner down here. Oh, you see, this does not work. The whole null object. That does not work too, so I have to. Yeah, it goes just with this null object here. When I put down the helix, uh, everything goes down there. Okay, we need a new second helix. Second helix, bring this helix one inside. And now when I drag the, just the helix down, my cloner goes down here. It's minus five, of course, because we have ten. So now we are top here. Okay. And everything should still work here. I'll hide my spline wrap here. And so, in A to hide the lines. And da -da 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 -da. looks nice. Okay, of course, you can make the, the rotation of the wheel slower when you make instead of, instead of 3600 here at the end. Uh, let's make 360 times 8 or so, something else. Oh, you like it. Let's let's try it. S 360 times 8. So, and maybe that looks better. Mm, I think, no, the other one was, was, was better for me, so I go back to 2006. But so you can go uh, how you like it. Okay. Good so far. 
let's continue. Now, now we want the movement of the rays. So, I could make it simply, when I go to the cloner here, make a plane effector. So, remote graph effectors, plane effector. And I bring it up to here. So I know. It does not matter where the plane effector is in the scene, but uh, for me it's just easier to so then I know where it belongs to. So. And in the plane effector in the parameter position, I go down here. Let's see, minus 100. Okay. And go to the fall off. If you don't have an older version, you don't have the field fall offs. You can just take a, 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 a box fall off in this case. I want to use a box. This is good so far, but in the wrong direction. So I go to the box field, remapping, and invert this. And I give the box fall off the same uh, aligned or spline like the train has. So it moves with the train. Uh, and let's uh, okay we see this kind of works but not really so we need to make this a little bigger maybe make it a little bigger try it again this is just a little try and try and error this is a little too big now we can make it still a little smaller Uh, this goes a little too fast huh? Now this comes to uh, too early. So I want this. I want this smaller. So oops. Oh, you see that good. But this is because it doesn't really work with the cl in the cloner itself. Because the cloner is still a, a straight one. This is just the spline wrap here. Which makes it, but the cloner is still a straight thing, and the, you see, uh, and, and the box is rotated here, so that you cannot really uh, 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 align this here. So what we do instead is I delete the uh, this one. Instead of this, I make now. Let's go back. And hide the spline wrap. Don't need to see it. I put the whole null in a fract in a Veronoi fracture. So I go to my MoGraph. The null is selected. I click on the Veronoi fracture. And I don't want these fragments. I, so I delete the sources here. And now you see I have the thing. And this now. This is already banded, so here, now I can put a plane effector in the Voronoi fracture. So I select my Voronoi fracture, you see we have here an effector slot as well. And go to the MoGraph, plane effector. And now we should have the plane effector in the Voronoi. If not, just drag it in, it's no problem. My plane effector is by default has uh, in the parameter everything disabled and the I go down minus hundred. Okay. And again fall off, box fall off. 
had a no box follow, we want to invert it. And now we can play again. So something like that. And here again I will give the box feed the same like the spline. And you see now everything runs nicely with it. This is exactly what I want now. And we have exactly the correct size, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's make a little bevel that it looks a little nicer. I go to my cube here, bring in a bevel, a shift click on the bevel deformer. So, like one, two, three. So now we have a smooth thing here. And if we let's play this whole thing now, let's hide the box feed. In S22, you see, I, I work here with S22 now. Uh, it's the newest one it's for, for subscribers. Uh, you have a nice thing here in the filter that is geometry only. So it hides everything except the geometry. So this is nice to have preview. Okay, and now to make the movement a little nicer, we can do something. We can add another effector here. So I want a delay effector here. Bring in a delay effector. Bring it here. As I said, it does not matter where this, this effector is placed. So. But it's, uh, it's important to be after the plane effector here in the one way fracture. And the delay effector makes the movement a little smoother. Looks much nicer. Let's go to 60. It seems that yeah we have yeah you see here oops let's go again no, come on I can do it yes yeah now it because of the delay effector, we have to, so this is simple. Uh, go to bring back, our, bring back our box field here and make simply the box field a little bigger. Now it, we don't see any change because the, the delay effector does not work now because we have no animation. Maybe a little bigger. This works now, so the follow-up, uh, yeah, you can see we can even a little bigger here, so now we can be sure, okay, nice. You can make here extremely uh, funny things, like let's say, when you don't make it with a pole under it, you can bring in rotations in the, in the plane effector, so let's see. Okay, the 360 rotation here. Mm. All right, does this not do that? Let's try. No one, no one should. Have. I don't need color fields here. So, uh, again, don't have to animate this. this is a Let's do it without the delay at the moment. Mm. That's a little strange.
Что ты так намали? А, это ротает. Я Yeah, we have to make the box field higher. Yeah, we need it higher, uh, as, uh, uh, nevertheless. We need, uh, we need it higher uh, anyway, so not nevertheless. Because we make the poles here as well, and they should be affected by the uh, box field as well. So let's make it simply high. Not the reason. Maybe the, the it's just too short. Yeah. The effect uh, <laughs> in the other direction minus three sixty. <laughs> yeah, but this is it is not possible when you do a pole under it. Of course, it cannot rotate like this. Yeah, it could rotate in the h direction here, maybe. Yeah, it's just too short. But I don't want it. But what you can do, what what looks nice, is of course you can make the Voronoi fracture with with uh, with a source. So. At source and make here, let's say, 100 points. And you see what's happened here. That looks nice too, of course. <laughs> so there is a lot to play with it. So, but now let's let's continue with the poles now. Good, uh, but I think for, for a loop we need some more things because uh, when you work with the delay effector, you should not see the first and the last rail part because this one with the delay effector, the first and the last, they uh, move abruptly, so that they they move without delay. So at least when you go from the last frame to the first, it will be a hiccup. So. Uh, try to set the camera so that you don't see the first and the last one. And uh, for this we have, to, we have a little too less uh, cubes. So let's make some more cubes. Let's make the spline a little longer. So let's say we want to add two rails. The one is 200 we said. Make the size here 1400 in the X. And of course the other one as well. Okay. And let's make two more clones here. One, two. It's be this. And now we can nicely hide the first one here. So the green one. And we have here a violet one. So Something like that, and with this we should have no problem to loop. You see here that, that there's this hiccup, but it's not in, in our animation. So you see it's in the gray one, we don't want to see this. But if you don't have to last, you would you would see this blap. This is not what we want. We don't see it. Okay, now we have a nice smooth animation. But it looks a little boring when we have to wait as long as so long for our train to see it. Let's bring in a camera here. And yeah, I have to in R twenty two in S twenty two I have to change my project camera because then you see I get a, a wrong attack here. I have to change my script here. 
So I have to put a prod. Where is the protect? This is in should in the rigging yeah, protection. So okay. And now, uh, yeah, let's make the poles. Hide the camera here. I uh, don't need to save this. I don't need because I uh, the uh, project file is on right already online. So so uh, just download it, and you have every animation, every every uh, model, everything in this one scene. And if it should crash now, but I see no reason to that it should crash. But uh, if it should crash, I have my auto save on. So, oh, do I have? This is a new version. Hey, wait, 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 wait. And good that I see it. Preferences with Control E. Control E, you can do the preferences. Where is. Uh, No, where is the files? Oh, to save. Haha, I did it. Every five minutes. Uh, 20 copies. Custom directory. So. See for the auto backup. Okay. Good. That's it. Huh, that's a nice one. So. And now, pole. We need some poles. We have here eight uh, ray parts, so we need eight poles. Work, 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 work. Cylinder, centimeter. Nice. So, and we need a cloner. We make object. Alright, click on cloner. We want it along a object. And here we, we make another helix so that we can uh, alter the height later. So make helix 2. And the cloner should go along this helix. Wong. Okay. And we want 8 clones. See if this looks okay. This looks okay it's on every point here, and I want it in the middle here. So we go to a little offset, cloner, offset. Let's offset it. Till you are in the middle. Ah, of course, thirty-five. Okay, but you see, here we are in the middle, and here we are not. So this works not really nice. And here we are in the middle and here we are not. So let's make other thing. Go to step. I go back to the and I don't want a loop. So now I try with the step to have very nice. Hundred seventy eight looks nice. Here it looks perfect. And this should work with with the offset. This was six six thirty-five. Yeah, this is this works. Now we are here in the middle, here in the middle, here in the middle, here in the middle. This works with the step. Okay. Nice. Uh, next step in this clone, uh, I want the same plane effector with the box feed. So I go to the cloner, effectors, plane effector. That seems to work. So, but I have to do bring the last helix from the cloner down. So I'll just. We can intersect a little bit, or you can bring it exactly down here. So, hundred five is exactly in this, and you see, it works perfectly. And if we run the animation now, okay, you see, okay, it here it comes through. But the reason is, 
we don't need only the plane effector, we need of course the delay effector as well. We need the same movement as the uh, rail parts have. But now this works perfect. And let's make some tubes. So, which is holding the tube. The inner is 5 because our uh, cylinders are 5. 10. Okay. We steal this cloner, copy it, control, drag it down. And instead of the cylinder, I bring in the tube. And here in this cloner, we don't need any effectors. But we have still again another helix here, but we need to go down, so we need another last helix here. Three, and now I just bring this helix down, somewhere like here, and our animation is done. Over here, the filter, geometry only. Yeah, but uh, what we said is it's a little boring with the with one train here. So let's make a second train. For the second train, I go to this train and simply make an instance of it. So go to uh, select the train, go to here. Yeah, Instance, my train instance, I bring it. And it does not matter where it is, but and I bring the same align to spline deck here, control drag it on this one. But here I want to uh, offset it 50%. So in the frame zero, I go to 50, and then in the last frame, go to 150. Uh, offset this one, this one. So now I have two trains in my scene. But you see the second one, this just <laughs> flies over. This is not what we want. So we need a second box field here. Control drag it down to copy it. And we need instead of this aligned spline, we copy the aligned spline from the from the train instance. So now we should have oops, two box fields. Oh, I have the field down here. We have two box fields. You see, this works, but this does not work because I go to my plane effector fields. But I have to drag in the second box field. This now it works here, but not here. The blending mode we go to multiply. Now we have it. So, and if I hide this now, these two box fields. Okay, go back to here. And make again this. This I like this geometry only. And before this leaves here, we, the other one comes. This is nice. So we always have a train in the scene. And this is it. This is the whole magic for this. And as I said, the next one will be with the, with the, with the Ferris wheel. If you want to follow uh, along with, with my models, so simply download the project file on Patreon and you have all what you need. Good, so what's the next What's the next one? What do I want to say? Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll record this, the second one with the Ferris wheel today. And yeah, if you have requests, questions, uh, com complaints, whatever, please let me know here in the comments, in our Facebook group, our Facebook, uh, on my Facebook site, on my website, on my Patreon, wherever you find me. I, I'm on Instagram too, but you will find all the links in the description. I think I don't have a link for Instagram in the description. 
because I'm, I'm not really the Instagram guy. Like, uh, recently, someone said, "Yeah, a story, and, and, and you can uh, do whatever on, on Instagram." But I do almost nothing. I work on Instagram on, on the PC and not 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 on on my mobile phone or, or something. And on the PC, you can do almost nothing on on, on Instagram. Good. So yeah, that's it. I wish you all the best here from uh, Austria, Vienna. Stay healthy. I hope you are still healthy. Be patient. Uh, do what you, uh, what your government says, what you should do. Uh, just about coronavirus, not not <laughs> not follow blind everything. Okay, and yeah. If you have any questions, let me know, and I really try to uh, answer every question. And if I don't uh, answer on comments on, on YouTube, yesterday, I, I, or what is the day before yesterday, I uh, gone through my uh, in in the in the YouTube studio. I have gone to the, to the comments, and I have seen I have I did not answer a lot over three weeks ago, and so, but. I don't see every every comment uh, on YouTube. I see it in the in the in the YouTube studio then, but not in, in so so. Sometimes it can take a little longer until I answer. So, but I really try to answer everything. Good. So uh, then I will of course think around with S twenty two, and if I find something interesting, what other people did not show already. Uh, I will make some quick tips or something else, and yeah, uh, be nice, f and be friendly, and kind, and patient, and and be with me in my next tutorial, <laughs> okay, best regards, and tschüss, und baba.